This is Xinguizhu, Dandong's neighboring city, a DPRK special administrative region with a population of about 360,000 and a major connecting point between China and the DPRK. Xinguizhu is just dozens of meters away from me. It is the fourth largest city in the DPRK. It may appear idle in contrast to Dandong, especially to those who are just visiting here. But in the eyes of locals, changes are not too hard to see on the other side. 24-year-old Shi Dan, born and raised in Dandong, now operates a small Korean-style eatery. The restaurant is named after its location, the riverbank. Having a grandmother who moved to Dandong from the DPRK decades ago to get married, she says the country over the river is not as different as you might think. There have been changes in Shiniju. They may not be obvious to you, but I went there when I was little and also more recently. Nowadays, you can see high-rise buildings and vehicles on the city streets, which didn't exist in the past. And Shi Dan's mother, who has lived her whole life in the Chinese border town, explains what could be fueling those changes. As much as we've been developing quickly, they've been changing too. The opposite side used to be more of an industrial area, but now they are trying to catch up, especially in terms of infrastructure to boost cross-border tourism and trade. But what about people on the other side of the border? They're not that mysterious. I thought they would be until I got in contact with some of them. Apart from the language, they're not that different from us. And there is one change in particular that Shi wants to see. My relatives on the other side cannot come over yet. If there is more development in the region, it may make it easier to cross the border. My grandmother would be very happy to see that, and so would I. It may take some time to bridge that gap, even though only a river separates the two cities. Zhao Lingfeng, CGTN, Dandong, Liaoning Province.